<laughs> but I'll tell you what, Rustam Dabbawala was no different than any other rich Parsi boy. You know, he inherited this big mansion, house, and land worth 500 crores, both of which he could not sell because they were in Bihar. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. I mean, Parsi guy, land in Bihar. So you can guess, uncle was a politician, right? <laughs> I mean, US had a Dick Cheney, we had a Dick Ra as a president. <laughs> anyway, so uh, Rustam, as a kid, used to spend a lot of hours at the cyber cafe, gaming, in cubicles with curtains. <laughs> you understand, right? Uh, but his parents were more concerned because his gaming name was Homo Sapien. And he was this round, fat kid with big man boobs and all. <laughs> but he was a good student, you know? He was, except that uh, for a long time he believed that Thesaurus was a dinosaur. <laughs> he did. But you gotta give it to this guy, you know? Like, at 16, this guy was a national CS champ, a footballer, a poker addict, and had a list of girlfriends. But still, whenever I used to meet him, like a crybaby, he used to be like, dude, I really don't know what I should be doing here. I was like, yeah, man, you're good for nothing. Go back to Bihar and grow aloo on that land you inherited. <laughs> then I remember like he joined this mentoring program at Collegify and uh, he got calls from Harvard, Yale, Dartmouth and all these big Ivy League colleges. And you know, like Rustam getting into Harvard was a big news and this news had reached the Parsi kitty parties. <laughs> the aunties obviously did not want to miss out on having him as their son-in-law, right? I remember one even sent him an audio file just to prove how good his daughter used to sing. And the song was, There's a fire starting in my heart. <laughs> obviously, he was going to reply to the email. The girl's pictures from Goa on a Facebook profile helped, you know? I mean, he thought that why should he make the mistake of judging a girl because of her mother, right? He came back, started dating her, realized how big a mistake he had actually made, and that exactly is the reason why the first and the only Men's Welfare Association was formed. <laughs> <laughs>